Buckingham Palace has disclosed the passing of Thomas Kingston, the spouse of Lady Gabriella Kingston, daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. Lady Gabriella, his surviving spouse, eulogized her financier partner on Tuesday evening, lauding him as an extraordinary individual who illuminated the lives of all those acquainted with him. Expressing deep sympathy, the king, Lady Gabriella's second cousin, extended his sincerest condolences to her family following the unexpected demise. Lady Gabriella currently holds the 56th position in the British throne succession, trailing behind her niece, Isabella Windsor. A joint statement from Lady Gabriella, Mr. Martin and Mrs. Jill Kingston, Mrs. Joanna Connolly, and Mrs. Emma Murray conveyed, with profound sadness we announce the passing of Thomas Kingston, our cherished spouse, son, and sibling. Tom was a remarkable individual who brought joy to all who crossed his path. His departure has deeply shaken the entire family and we kindly request privacy during this period of mourning. Reportedly, the financier's demise is unrelated to the decision of the Prince of Wales to withdraw from a memorial service on Tuesday for his godfather King Constantine II, which was attended by Lady Gabriella's parents, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. Kingston, aged 45, was discovered deceased at a residence in the Cotswolds on Sunday evening. Emergency services responded to the incident shortly after 6 p.m. An inquiry will be conducted to determine the cause of death, though no suspicious circumstances are apparent and no other individuals are believed to be involved. A spokesperson from Buckingham Palace stated, His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen have been apprised of the passing of Thomas and Joint Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, along with all who held him dear, in mourning the loss of a beloved family member. In particular, Their Majesties extend their deepest condolences to Gabriella and the entire Kingston family. Lady Gabriella shared a personal photograph she had captured of her spouse, depicting him with a smile, clad in a casual pink shirt while standing near a water body under the radiant sunshine. Given that their fathers were brothers, the Queen and Prince Michael of Kent are cousins, making Lady Gabriella a second cousin to King Charles. Familiarly known as Ella among her peers, she was initially positioned 18th in line to the throne upon her birth. Lady Gabriella tied the knot with financier Kingston in 2019. Their private ceremony took place at St. George's Chapel within Windsor Castle and was attended by numerous senior members of the royal family, including Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Harry. The late Duke of Edinburgh also made a rare public appearance at the event. The couple's engagement occurred in the summer of 2018, following several years of courtship, with Thomas proposing during a journey to the Isle of Sark. Their last documented photograph together was taken on Valentine's Day, both donning matching royal blue and black attire at a Shakespeare celebration hosted at Grosvenor House, attended by Queen Camilla as well. Mr. Kingston served as a director at Devonport Capital, specializing in assisting companies within emerging economies or post-conflict environments by facilitating access to expansion funding and liquidity solutions. A graduate of Bristol University, Kingston had previously been involved in diplomatic missions with the Foreign Office, including efforts to negotiate the release of hostages in Iraq. Prior to his relationship with Lady Gabriella, Kingston had a romantic involvement with Pippa Middleton and they remained close friends. Kingston and Lady Gabriella were present at Ms. Middleton's wedding to James Matthews in May 2017. Gloucestershire Constabulary confirmed receiving a report from the ambulance service regarding Kingston's demise. The statement from the force reads, We were informed by the ambulance service at 6.25 p.m. on Sunday about the passing of a 45-year-old individual at a residence in the Cotswolds. The circumstances surrounding the death are not considered suspicious and a report will be prepared for the coroner.